Good day, boys and girls. I trust you all are well and safe at home. Today, we are going to start our new practical application, which uses Microsoft Access to create a database. Please remember there are many database programs, but the one that we use in school is called Microsoft Access. The first thing you are required to do is to right click on your desktop and create a new access. So, so all you do is you right click, new, and there we see the Microsoft Access database. Okay, the file also allows us to change it. So let's just do it while we are here with Backspace. And I'm gonna call this my first database. Okay. While we are here, we are going to open this file. Right, and it'll open up like that. Okay, so at the top here, it will give you a security warning. Please ensure that you enable content. Right, in database, we have two views. We have a design view and a data sheet view, but we will go into that a bit later. The first thing you will do is go on to create and we will choose table. Now table is one of a few objects that database programs has, but to be going to create a table just now in order, in, in order to insert column names or field names rather, but you'll remember the word column names from your Excel, but in database it's called field names and then we're going to have records. So we're going to go to create table, right? This is actually your data sheet view in which all the records will come here. It's okay if you don't understand at the moment. As we insert more fields and data uh, records, you will see it will become much more clearer to you. So you click view. The first thing it will ask you to do is to name the table. I'm going to name this table BSS. So I'm going to create a database table for our school assuming that learners are coming to our school and they're doing so for the first time, so they would require certain information to be captured by the admin. The first thing they would require is the learner's admission number. It is N of short. Auto number means, that data tab there means that you do not need to insert a number for it. But we're going to change that for this example to number so that I can insert the learner's admission number. Then I'm going to use the next field name as surname. The data type for that will be short text because we're entering numbers. By default at the bottom, the general tab, it gives us 255 characters. That means the maximum number of characters that can be inserted in that field. But because it's too large a number, we're going to reduce it to 20 characters. All that means is that the data capture will not be able to exceed 20 characters for a surname. But if the summary surname is five characters, it will still allow that. Likewise, the next field name, we're going to do name. The data tab again will be short text and the field size, we will leave it also at 20. The next one we're going to go with is the grade of the child, short text, and now we'll leave it as three being the field size. The next one will be gender. Again, short text. The field size, yeah, I only want them to type in the letter M or F, so it means the field size will be one character. And last field I'm going to insert for today is school fees. And the data tab for that would be currency because it's money. Going back to gender, if I know that Vellum Secondary has more boys than girls, so instead of me typing M and F for each one of them, all I do is I will go to gender and under default value, I'll enter F. So that means I do not have to type in the letter F for a girl. But should, it, should the pupil be a boy, I will just have to delete the F and put in the M. The reason why we do this is to save time. So I'm going to click Save, and now we're going to go into our data sheet view where we will see our column 
names, which you use for to in Excel, but remember in database it's called field names. You can expand them so you have more space. All right. The star on the left hand side here indicates that it's a new field. Okay. So the first admission number, I'm going to leave it as 100. Surname, Lamini, name, Sam, grade, 11C. Gender is female. Did I tell about the female? No. The reason the F appeared there, because we do remember in the design view, we set it, we set the gender to be F. But we know Lamini Sam is not a girl, but a boy. No problem, delete and put M. And the school fees, I can set it to maybe a thousand rands. All right, like that, I can continue. Now, if I put a hundred again for the next learner's admission number, it will give me an error message. Reason being, when you go to the end of this, is because it was a primary key. Now, if you read the message on the screen that appears, it says the changes you requested to the table was not successful because they would create duplicate values. So you will click on OK and you will change it. So the next learner should have been 101. Which I'm gonna, sorry, change now. OK, so let's use um, Governor. Joe, Joe, let's put this learner in 12C and female, the girl, and I can enter the school fees maybe of 500. Like that, learners, you're going to enter five more records for me as your little activity. I trust you all will enjoy practicing the introduction to database as our part one of database. Yes, please take care.